Making it to the Final Four is the culmination of a lifelong dream for many of these kids. Dick and I will watch dreams come true for one team, and we'll find out who it is in tonight's game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Crimson Tide are facing one of their toughest opponents of the season, Dick. How do they win? Keys are these. First of all, try not to give up any good looks from the outside. Next, take care of the basketball. Turnovers can really kill any rhythm offensively. Third, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Dumps it in. Tries for two and off the mark. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They look to get it to the inside. Here's the offensive drop step and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. He shoots from the angle. Way off target. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And the ball goes out of play. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Gave it up. He unloads a three. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Number 22 makes the shot. Blocks the shot. He's a high riser. Sensational, baby. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Trying to go inside. Thinks about the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Perfectly executed. Trying to feed inside. He uses the shot fake. Pump fakes. Jump hook from the low block. In and out. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. A high screen. Alabama is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. The ball goes out of play. the dribble gives it up and he'll kick it back outside he tries to knock down the three sinks the shot the replay's not even enough for this one by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. The center receives the pass. Stolen ball. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. The land. They scored seven in a row. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. 
The center handles the pass from the top of the key. Oh, yes. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the post up high. With a deep shot from outside. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Call this a one-man show, Brad. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. For two, can't get the shot to drop. On the outside, number 35 receives the ball. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. The power forward handles the feed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. That's jubilation. Looking for a good shot. He gets the rejection. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And he'll kick it back outside. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Both teams looking to get things going here. They work it around the perimeter. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. That's a seven zip run. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? Gave it up. Trying to stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding in the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. I tell you, what a nice trailing out jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Kick it back outside. Number 22 is he takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. He'll go to the line. Cashed it in. Spacing. Nice high post screen. He looks for three. Way off target. Picks off the lazy pass. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. But they're doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot. Playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He blocks the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. 
for two and off the mark. He takes the shot, scorches the net. There's the pick. He's got to pass those off there. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. North Carolina are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the inside. Trying to draw some contact. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. There was no doubt about that one. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He shoots from left to the circle. Off the rim and no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. Stolen away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two, and in and out. Oh, easy one. Sets a screen for his teammate. From right at the circle, he makes the shot. the bucket doesn't go for two can't get the shot to go coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion number 34 and that bucket's gonna count plus one a big time and one baby on their side and everything has fallen into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? It's good. Number one is emotionally fired up. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get in the ball. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. Good. It's the third shot.
pressure, great double team, really explosive. And a momentary look from three-point land. High post screen, so effective that screen. When there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact ground on the defensive player. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. That was nice. Makes it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. He wants a three. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Terrible execution on offense. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? He puts it in with contact and all. Is the bomb, drains the shot. There's a bad pass right to the defender with a quarterback pass. For the bucket, the Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. But he's on fire. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oh, what a strip, Red. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Looking for a good shot. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Stolen away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. On the outside, gave it up. There's a double team waiting there. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? With a great block. North Carolina are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Dump it inside. On the inside, leaning in, trying to draw contact. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in a post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. come with a double team to stop it. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Fakes the shot. Fakes the jumper. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. In the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And he missed. Opportunity for two for one. They work it around the perimeter. From right in the circle, way off target. the low post defensively great anticipation in the steal you can see they did a great job studying in film they anticipated that ball coming to that post he throws it up from downtown hey when are these guys gonna be able to make a shot up and inside for the bucket and in and out Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. At halftime, the Tar Heels lead by three. Dick, we've got a close one here tonight, my friend. Give us your highlight of the night so far. My highlight, Brad, has to be the great work in the paint so far. It'll be interesting to see who keeps it up in the next half. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. North Carolina is shooting very well from the floor right now, Dick. They're getting good looks, man, and they're not letting them go to waste. That's how you win games, man. Offensive execution. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Uh, 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He takes the shot. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. Pushing that basketball. There's the screen up on top. He buries the shot. The Tar Heels lead by six. Five second call approaching. The shooting guard with the ball. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. Looking for a good shot. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Steals the pass. Cross court. The skip pass is picked off. Defensively, they keep limiting their chances. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Jump hook from the low post. Rims out. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. it around the arc with the fake lets it fly off the rim and no good here's the toss back out from the post I dare coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer for the deuce they are running right through this defense the bombs are bursting baby it up. Number 11 is whistled for the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the free throw line. Gets the first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. Up fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And back they come the other way. Great elevator man, man. That's the elevator guy. What a high riser. inside he shoots from left of the circle he hits the shot gotta take some pride on the defensive end Shot to fall. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well.
The center takes the feed. Goes up for two. In and out. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. There's the trap. He takes the three. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. The center takes the pass. He looks for three. Rims out. perimeter unloads a three he hits a bullseye again and he's feeling it from everywhere baby Too much mustard there. They're working around the perimeter. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Robs him of the ball. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. There's the fake. Jump hook from the low block. Doesn't go. With a deep pass. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. He unloads a three. Drains it. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. He throws it up from downtown. Oh, you got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. The power forward gets the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. That spin move not successful, Dick. Arte, great job on the defense. Not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. We're going to move it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. The Crimson Tide are trailing by six. 
defense giving no room. He rejects it. to the line makes his first they have found their stroke at the strike tonight Dick this has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch he beats him to the punch defensively his shot blocked from behind he set him up nicely The center gets the pass. Intercepted. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Takes the pass in the paint. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Moving it around the perimeter. He launches a three. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Step out on that screener. He looks for the bomb. Great shot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Up for the lay-in. That's a 7 nothing run. He'll visit the charity strike. He got it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. There's a double team waiting there. Can't get the shot to go. Spin move not successful, Dick. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Up and inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Pulls the trigger. He buries the shot. He attempts the three. He gets the bucket to fall. Controlling the ball. Comes away with it.
Work it inside, and he there's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Nope, he posterized them. The Crimson Tide are down by four. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, Mr. Nussman, that's a no-no. He is going to the line. He gets it to go. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's a high screen. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Watch here. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounding. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. Great defense. Dump it inside. Takes away the pass. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny. Gets up to make the block. Goes in. Let's take a look right here. The tradition, the chance, the passion, all great. It's obvious these fans are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to cheer their team on to victory. Well, ultimately, the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it, too. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for a screen on top, and got it. Rims out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Picks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. He's open if he wants the shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Alabama are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the outside. Now they work it around the perimeter. He tries the three ball. Rims out. Gonna move it around the perimeter. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. For the deuce. Up. Easy one. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. Those long arms try to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. A 
the outside. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. In the paint. Number 35 makes a great move to draw the foul. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. Hey, hey, he wants everybody to get up. Number 32 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. He misses the first. He makes his second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Shoots it, rims out. Picks it out of the air. They need to get out and run their lanes now. Steals the pass. Pushes it. Yes! Now working around the arc. He pump fakes. Let's watch the defense down on the roadblock. See, first initially that's a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Working it around the perimeter. Puts up the shot. Scorches the net. We'll show you another angle from the booth. Moving it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. You're 15 to 17 feet apart. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on the talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Let us show you the replay on that one. Time to pick up the defense here now. Game it up. Michael screen, gonna use it. Three-pointer. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Timeout. Let's check in with Aaron, who's standing by. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. I think she's right about that, Richie. The player's got a much-needed breather with that timeout. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Jumped in front to take it away. Got a guy right on him. Shoots off the rim and no good. On the outside. Takes the pass in the paint. Kicks it out. He takes the shot off the baseline. Better foul quick. Well, it's time to start fouling. They gotta stop the clock, Dick. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. 
Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Up and in. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Makes the second. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two-possession game. Let's get ready to resume the action. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum can swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. He doesn't get the hook. The ball goes out of play. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you got to win it, keep on going to get to that final Monday night game. Well, I'll tell you, about this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Tar Heels emerges victorious in this one. I'll tell you, these kids are having a time of their lives as their childhood dreams come to reality. Hey, they're playing the next game in the magical Final Four. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.